Hi, good morning everybody. It's uh, May 29, 2018 and we are heading out to Rattlesnake Dam or Thor Dam uh, in Southern Alberta for some fishing. We mainly fish for walleye, pike, whitefish uh, and we have a few perch here and there. But my favorite um, shake it right? Um, fishing rod. It's an ugly stick, and we are using forty pound line. Okay, it's a six foot. And as I want to show you something here, at the end of the rod we are using a 12 inch reader and at the very bottom you can see this it will help the the bait to spin around so i will show the five of diamond it's called daredevil we used to catch any fish with one of these spoons. It can be pike, it can be trout, it can be walleye, and this is the best one. And it is of different shapes. So the spoon, one of my favorite. And see the hooks? The hooks are really, really huge. And it, it, it can trap any fish, basically, you can see the hook, they are really big, and the spoon, a different pattern. I want to show you something else. That's actually a, a yellow perch. And yellow perch, and a red perch. See the difference? I want to show you something. The difference between an yellow perch and see underneath. See the color is different. Here's the color is yellow, here is it's orange. So that will make a big difference. And the tails are highly mobile. You can see as it goes, the tails will be just swim by like this motion which will attract the fish. The spoons available in the market. It can have different shape, different color, different movement and different weight. I would like to show you the daredevil which I already discussed with you. It's the best. It has this motion and this five of a diamond is the attracting force. Yellow and red. Here we have something like a, a red and white pattern. The red and white looks like a, a Canadian flag or a safe symbol. One of the greatest one. If you hook that in, in your bait, yeah, you definitely catch a pike. At least a pike. Again, I'm going to come back to the, the daredevil. You can definitely catch pike or walleye. No difference. It will attract both the pike and walleye at the same time. Even though it looks like a, a ladybug, it will do its trick. It is really, really a different color, the black and orange. It's gonna, it is very similar to one of the greatest ones, keep in mind. This one will imitate almost a ladybug, but not a ladybug. It will do the tricks if you use it at the same spot where you actually get a fish before with the same kind. It will make a difference. It looks like a fish, has the same moment, same work, same tactic. This one, same. So I want to 
uh, explain to you some other way. They are not rubber. They are like plastic, but they have something inside. So when it goes, it will make that noise, which you can actually hear that. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's one of the best ones. Nice. And this one, so on so, it will, it, it does have that thing too, to make that noise. Good. Some of the other rafla bait, they have something inside too. But look at this, look at the way it is. So if you are actually uh, in a boat, this this is something you have to use. It will if you go from underneath to up, up and down that way, it will still make that noise, and it, it's gonna exactly a uh, picture is a real, real, real fish. So that's the one. It has got a different color, but same trick. So you should be very careful with the the, the hooks when you handle them inside or outside your box so be very careful see this is this is exactly my, my one of my favorite thing so when you actually in the boat not a shore fishing this is very 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 helpful and what i usually do i will use some of this thing like that and so it will give that 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 presentation for when it moves so that's one of the one of the good ones. Like you know, this is the rapla bait. Same thing, but uh, it will help the bait to go over uh, the weed. So it won't hook onto any weed. It will go over the. Weed. So this this is the area which will help very much. This thing is a source of, uh, this is a source of, sorry, this one is a source of bait, but this will, this will submerge and will perform like this. So again, this thing will get rid of the weed hooking onto the tip of your hook. So the tip of your hook and this one is very close. So it, the weed won't get in here onto your line. So that's very helpful. And I want to show you some of the uh, spinners, very helpful to catch pike, but none of them have weight. So it is very hard to cast them out. It will, it, it will just rotate like that. This is the way it will rotate. When it comes, it will rotate this way, like a fan. So I always put a weight on top of it, so it will give that... Uh, you can cast out all the way out and it will come back like this where it will be spinning um, this is another spinner but I will put a, uh, put a bait uh, usually a braid bait or uh, uh, a bait that um, a bait something like that which hollow inside within the line so it will give you a maximum um, length when you cast, but it, it, it is it is very important. It is a hole inside. Um, same rapla. It will help you all of your the weed if you are fishing in a weed um, weedy place. Same thing. Very nice one. And so some of these like a two two tail one, very very effective motion. Very good. It has to be. Um, you have to use uh, use it like I will show you one demonstration so the hooks will be going like this see how it goes and this rotation best and some earthworms where you can actually it will imitate an actual real earthworm it has got a smell of a real earthworm but it's it's plastic. So there you go. Um, this one, they are jiggers. You can jig. It has got a weighted one end, so you can. It will represent like a fish when it is under the water. It is actually a small fish, or it will look like a small fish, and you can jig it. Um, 
it can go on a hook it could have a perfect verb especially for trout fishing you think the same thing here applies to this one this one bait all you have to do so that's the way it should be nice movement very very nice movement look at the tail and it's bifurcated so you will present that 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 motion very good um okay. and some of these different colors there's white red brown pink orange uh, like pretty much all the colors it is it's not the hook we have to use we have to use a small hook and you can you can actually put that on a jig so for example i can show you hey uh this is another kind of bait that we are using it is multi hooked there is a hook here there is a hook here just like every other bait it's going to swim and this tail will be like doing that motion not really and that's a walleye it's going to imitate a pike as you can see it is a pike and there is a a trout look at the tail look at the tail how how flexible it is it will go exactly like this so you can see that's a good one this is one of my favorite it has illumination capacity once it is inside you can see once it is inside water it will glitter glitter like a gold it will attract any fish that is not seen by the hook they will come they will chase for it this is the very wavy motion really really wavy see when it goes under the water it's going to go like that so that's another one really 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 useful like i explained before that's the yellow perch these two will do the same trick they have the long tail but they have only one hook there's no hook underneath so you have to you have to let it eaten by the fish or you might lose because it's there's only one hook so the motion it will be very very slow when you do this one it is uh, it is illuminating too and it's going to imitate like uh, another another perch or whatever this both will do the same kind of trick uh, they will catch good fish big fish or small fish doesn't matter because they have that illuminating capacity look at the body and so black and gold one that's going to imitate like a walleye just like this guy here and this one imitate something but you will still get fish and some of the other lures um, um it's it's floating so it will it will not submerge it will just stay on top of the water and it will have this motion so you know the pike will catch it's like um, the same thing a shrimp or a prawn or um, something it's going to look like the natural habitat the the hook is really big so we'll catch some water with that so that's the hook and it's weighted on one side so all you have to do look at this very easy very easy to use so that's something and another spinner it will do the same trick it will just rotate this way so so that's all i want to show you today and so we will come back next day with a different video a tutorial uh, the important fishing accessories you you should carry 
whenever you go fishing so keep keep watching the current videos and i will see you next time with a wonderful video the fishing accessories you should minimum have to have in your backpack when you go fishing see you next time thank you